And now back here at home to Kansas and the hate-fueled rampage at two Jewish centers over the weekend. Today, the 73-year-old man charged in that shooting appeared in court for the first time. And ABC's Steve Osinsami shows us what happened. He looked disheveled and disoriented. 73-year-old Fraser Glenn Cross had to be wheeled to his video feed court appearance. He had no friends or family in the courtroom. I don't have the money. The judge assigned him a free lawyer and set his bond at $10 million. Glenn Miller, as he's known in his world, My pal. started hating Young. He's a lifelong anti-Semite, a former Grand Dragon of the Ku Klux Klan. In the 1980s, he led the White Patriots Party, 5,000 strong. In 2006, he told a Jewish reporter that he hated Jews for controlling the media and the government. I hate you. You're a Jew and I hate you. Do you advocate violence against <laughs> Jews? Advocate? What's your definition of advocate? Today, state prosecutors, armed with the death penalty, charged him with first degree and capital murder for the three shooting deaths at the Jewish Community Center. Prosecutors say that he intended to kill Jews, but say what he didn't know is that all three victims were Christian. The Southern Poverty Law Center says while attacks from hate groups are falling, the groups themselves are on the rise. We saw it for ourselves with our cameras. What? What? a modern-day cross-burning just last year in Mississippi. Hate groups are rising because there are some big trends happening that scare people that have white supremacist views. The biggest thing is the fact that this country is becoming increasingly diverse. Their home is on the Internet. The accused gunman filed more than 12,000 posts to racist discussion boards, which have been filled with congratulations since the killings. Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Overland Park, Kansas.